Hello viewers, well it's time for stage 10 of this World Rally Championship Great Britain, let's take a look. Now on to the Rally of Great Britain, uh, since I uh, saw the early version you can see it's raining now, the rain effect on the cars, the uh, conditions have changed and have made a huge difference to the handling. It was tricky through this section, there was lots of bumps and lumps and all that to deal with, but now uh, the handling is altered again and it's it's a very different feel to the pickup of the gears. I mean, we were just on tarmac. Now we're in this very boggy feeling mud. And it really does alter the way you approach and drive some of these stages, the way the car reacts, trying to get on the power. I mean, sometimes you get wheel spin, so you want to go up a gear, get yourself a bit more traction. And again here, trying to be really tentative with a handbrake. Because again, you don't want to oversteer. And there I did oversteer a slight touch on the gate it's done some damage to side bodywork but it's okay it hasn't affected the steering not as quick as I would be I'm not as confident with this one I'd need to practice this more I wasn't expecting to need any practice at all jumped on it having done it before and realized the difference that the weather has made to the approach to the stage braking distances are now much longer and you can see the effect of that. Trying to keep a focus. And I'm learning while I'm playing here. So I'm learning when to turn in, how to turn in, how to get on the power, what kind of gear I need. Do I need second? Do I need third? What gear is going to work best for me? This is all the sort of learning you're doing when you're first playing these racing games and many of you will be doing when you get hold of it. It's a very sort of different approach to it. You can see I'm trying a higher gear here, and the higher gears are working much better for me on this particular stage. Trying to keep good grip. A lot of direction changes, and it is obviously it's very narrow as well, so you want to keep on that nice muddy patch, keep a good flow onto some gravel here. more tricky direction changes you're also affected by the undulation changes as well so obviously going uphill with your turning left or right will affect your your understeer into some of the corners the corner is slightly on me slightly quicker than I expected probably needed a touch more handbrake just to keep that slide going Not ideal, but we're through that section now onto the tarmac. And so straight away now I'm thinking, right, this is another journey of discovery because you're like, how does this handle? And again, it's trying to find the, the handling and what works best for you. Second gear was working okay, but car wasn't sliding as I would like. And along the coastline. Glad to say the weather wasn't like this when I was in Wales. This is what I was expecting, but luckily it wasn't. It was nice and sunny for me. As we come around these final few corners of stage one of the round in Great Britain. Uh, and of course there'll be more on that to come as well. So Great Britain then, quite challenging actually. I'd have to say it's one of the more challenging uh, rallies. You know, to go from the high speed tarmac of Germany and then to the very slow boggy textures of Great Britain. I have to say it was uh, a difficult mindset actually moving from one to the other. It was a good example. You know, you're in a slightly higher gear and you're trying to find your grip and everything out of some of the corners and the cars are moving about a lot on the bumps. You know, certainly very challenging. And since the early version, of course, they've added the rain effects. It has altered the, the handling somewhat to the stage and it was quite challenging to play. Uh, no doubt if I'd restarted several more times, I could have uh, really improved on that. But I just wanted to give you guys again a nice run you can see where I'm learning uh, the finishing line wasn't terribly uh, uh, classy but we made it across the line nevertheless that's the way to do it I, what I've learned on these games is just don't stand at the finishing line it's got to be a dangerous place to be because you always just floor it at that point but uh, that's it for the rally of Great Britain now it's on to France <laughs>